In late October 2025, a rare astronomical moment will unfold. On the 29th, an object called 3I Atlas will swing past the Sun at its closest approach, known as perihelion. What makes this moment so unusual is that the Sun, Earth, and 3I Atlas will line up perfectly in a straight line. That alignment means the Sun will block our view just when scientists are most eager to study it. 3I Atlas is not an ordinary comet or asteroid. Its path through our solar system has been puzzling astronomers since its discovery. Unlike most objects that come from the outer regions of our solar system, this one appears to be from interstellar space. Questions about its origin and purpose have been growing, especially since its movement is unlike anything seen before. Between August 8 and 12, 2025, NASA's SphereX Observatory captured detailed infrared images of 3I Atlas when it was about 3.2 astronomical units from the Sun. The observatory looked for emissions of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. Surprisingly, no signs of water or carbon monoxide were found. Instead, a huge cloud of carbon dioxide surrounded the object stretching roughly 348,000 kilometers. The data showed 3I Atlas was losing about 70 kilograms of CO2 every second, but its water loss was almost zero, which is unusual because it is already inside the region where water ice should easily turn into gas. Spectral readings suggest the surface contains a mix of water ice, CO2 ice, and organic materials, similar to Kuiper Belt objects exposed to cosmic radiation. Yet, no water vapor cloud was visible. Even more surprising, SPHEREX images showed it as a sharp point with no dust tail, unlike typical comets. This matches Hubble Space Telescope observations that the reddish light seen is reflected directly from its surface, meaning the object is likely large and solid with little surrounding dust. Professor Avi Loeb has pointed out that building such a massive rocky icy body in interstellar space would be nearly impossible due to the lack of material available there. That raises the possibility that 3I Atlas may not be a natural object at all. If the CO2 release is just a thin outer layer evaporating, the true nature of what lies beneath remains unknown. On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope also observed 3I Atlas, making this the first time James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble have both focused on the same interstellar target. Hubble's latest data suggests its light may come from a concentrated source rather than being scattered randomly, a finding that has sparked intense debate. The James Webb Space Telescope data, however, is under a standard three-month embargo meaning only the observing team can access it until it is released. 3I Atlas is currently moving at about 152,000 miles per hour, far faster than any human-made spacecraft. It is now 3.8 times farther from the Sun than Earth is, traveling through the colder outer regions of the solar system. On October 3rd, it will pass Mars before swinging closer to the Sun on October 29th. After December 2025, it will make its closest approach to Earth before heading back into interstellar space, never to return. Its path is what makes it especially unusual. Unlike other interstellar visitors such as Oumuamua and Borisov, which came from random directions, 3I Atlas follows a retrograde orbit, moving opposite the direction most planets travel yet it stays almost exactly within the same orbital plane as the planets. The odds of this happening by chance are extremely low, around 0.2%. Even more striking, its orbit is tilted less than 5 degrees from Earth's. This alignment has led some to wonder whether its path could have been planned. During its journey, 3I Atlas will pass close to several planets of interest, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. The fact that it approaches multiple planets along its path has fueled speculation about whether it could be surveying them. While some astronomers believe it's simply an unusual comet, the combination of its speed, direction, alignment, and lack of a typical coma or tail makes it stand out. In addition to ground-based telescopes and space observatories like Hubble and James Webb Space Telescope, spacecraft already in our solar system might also get a closer look. NASA's MAVEN, 
currently orbiting Mars, could be in a position to observe 3i Atlas more closely when it reaches perihelion. MAVEN's instruments might detect changes in plasma, magnetic fields, or other environmental effects as the object passes nearby. With only weeks left before its closest solar pass, the mystery around 3i Atlas remains unsolved. Every new observation adds data, but also raises more questions. Whether it is a natural interstellar traveler or something more unusual, the coming months may be our only chance to study it before it vanishes back into the depths of space. There's an idea on the table from Professor Avi Loeb that sounds bold but could be groundbreaking. Using NASA's Juno spacecraft, which is still orbiting Jupiter, to intercept 3I Atlas. If Juno's path could be adjusted, it could become the first probe to directly meet an interstellar object. But there are big hurdles. Juno's main engine has shown issues, and its fuel supply is running low. The mission would be extremely difficult to pull off, but not impossible. If it worked, Juno's final act could be a close-up study of a true interstellar visitor before it leaves our solar system forever. Time is short. 3I Atlas is moving on a hyperbolic path, which means it's not bound to the sun and will leave the solar system. By early 2026, it will be near Jupiter, our last real chance to study it up close. After that, it will fade into deep space. Its brightness will drop. Its coma, the cloud of dust and gas around it, will shrink, and its light will disappear into the background of space. If we don't gather enough data now, it will be gone like 2017's Oumuamua, leaving only questions. Interstellar objects are rare. They are comets or asteroids that formed outside our solar system but pass through it briefly. Most objects in space move in predictable orbits around the sun, but these visitors come from unusual angles at very high speeds. Oumuamua, spotted in 2017, was the first we ever saw. Its shape was highly elongated, possibly like a cigar or thin disc, and its behavior was unlike any comet or asteroid we've studied. It accelerated in a way gravity alone couldn't explain, but showed no sign of the usual gas jets that push comets. It also had a steady rotation, which fits with being pushed by sunlight, solar radiation pressure rather than gas release. On top of that, its orbit had several rare traits. Alignment with the galactic plane, motion almost at rest relative to nearby stars, and timing that brought it close to Earth with extreme precision. These factors led Loeb and others to suggest it might even be artificial. 3I Atlas is much larger than Oumuamua, possibly between 1 and 15 kilometers across compared to about 100 meters. Its size makes it far brighter and easier to study. At the same distance, it's over 250 times brighter than the interstellar comet 2I Borisov. This means it's either much bigger or producing far more dust and gas. But despite looking like a comet at first glance, it behaves differently. Comets usually have a bright tail pointing away from the sun. Hubble images show 3I Atlas releasing dust toward the sun instead, with only a weak tail in the opposite direction. It also has a bright dust halo slightly ahead of it, something no ordinary comet shows. This forward-facing halo is puzzling. Loeb has suggested it could be acting like a protective shield, possibly deflecting particles as the object travels. Compared to Borisov, 3I Atlas has a far larger surface area but a much smaller halo, and it lacks the strong tail typical of active comets. Spectral analysis adds more mystery. Most comets release gases like carbon monoxide or neutral oxygen when they heat up near the sun, but 3I Atlas doesn't show these signatures clearly. There are faint hints of water, but none of the strong chemical markers expected from ice sublimation. This is unusual for an object that seems to be producing visible dust. The greenish color around 3I Atlas is another clue. If it comes from dust, those particles would need to be extremely small, about 0.5 micrometers in size. Sunlight would push such tiny particles away quickly, creating a clear tail in a day or less, but no such tail is seen. If the dust is larger than a micrometer, sunlight wouldn't move it much, which means the green tint could come from the surface itself. 
That would suggest a reddish surface and possibly a size of around 20 kilometers. An object of that scale might only pass through our solar system once every 50,000 years. Another possibility Loeb has proposed is that the dust comes from the surface itself, eroded by countless impacts with tiny particles and cosmic rays during its long journey through interstellar space. This process could create a dusty coating without requiring ice or gas release like a typical comet. When compared to two Iborisov, the differences stand out even more. Borisov released large amounts of water and carbon monoxide, behaving exactly like a normal comet from another star system. 3. I-Atlas, in contrast, is bright and active, but lacks these typical chemical signals. Its forward halo, missing tail, and unusual dust behavior make it one of the most baffling objects astronomers have ever studied. In short, 3I-Atlas is big, bright, and strange. It shows dust activity without the expected gases, has a halo in front instead of a tail behind, and defies the patterns we know from both solar system comets and past interstellar visitors. The clock is ticking for astronomers to figure out what it really is before it disappears into the dark of interstellar space for good.